Good evening viewers, welcome to the Assam Tribune, you are watching Superfast 10. I am Monisha and here are the top 10 stories of the day. The Assam State Gum Botanical Garden has recently welcomed a new addition, a baby giraffe. Assam CM Himanta Biswa Sharma took to X to mention about the joyful event. The giraffe was born three days ago. Meanwhile, the CM has actively engaged the public by seeking suggestions for naming the newly born giraffe at the Assam State Zoo in Guwahati. Over 20 students at the National Institute of Technology Silcha were severely affected and nine of them had to be hospitalized after eating momos from a stall outside the campus. Soon after the issue was brought to the notice of the authorities of the institute, the afflicted students were rushed to Silcha Medical College and Hospital and also to a private hospital. Four Assam residents were killed in Arunachal Pradesh after massive rock hit their car in an area between Muri Mugli and Gami Road on National Highway 13 on Saturday. Today. The deceased have been identified as Christopher Hemram, Abhijit Hemram, Nirmal Hemram, and Lakshminath Kisku of Kokrajhar district. A formidable swarm of caterpillars has unleashed a wave of destruction across many villages in Golak Ganj area under Assam's Dhubri district casting a shadow over the region's agricultural vitality. The infestation has primarily targeted paddy fields situated particularly in the villages of Chapusabari Part 2 in Golak Ganj area, leaving farmers grappling with the aftermath and raising concerns about the region's agricultural sustainability. In the ongoing endeavor to combat the drug menace in the state, Guwahati police arrested two individuals involved in drug trafficking from Manipur and one from Hajo in Assam. According to initial information, a team of the West Guwahati Police Department carried out an operation in the Lalmati area resulting in the recovery of 20 soap boxes containing suspected heroin and rupees 1,72,400 in cash from the Manipuri women and one man hailing from Hajo. The arrestees have been identified as Abdul Alim from Hajo and Nkai and Asara from Senapati district in Manipur. In a successful joint operation, the troops of the Assam Rifles along with the Indian Army and Manipur Police recovered a huge cache of arms and ammunition in Manipur on Sunday. During a massive search operation, the officials recovered one AK-56 rifle with magazine, one 9mm pistol with magazine, two rifles, four improvised mortars and ammunition. Amidst the Cherry Blossom Festival, Meghalaya Police apprehended one notorious interstate drug peddler from Morning Neng. This was informed by Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma on Saturday. The drug peddler was apprehended by East Khasi Hills Police during an operation and seized heroin worth rupees 2 crore from his possession. The national capital continued to experience very poor air quality on Sunday morning with an air quality index of 398. According to the System of Air Quality and Weather Forecasting and Research, the air quality index in Delhi was recorded at 398 at 7.15 a.m. on Sunday, categorizing it as very poor. Amid the ongoing efforts to rescue the 40 workers trapped in the Uttarkashi Tunnel, a portion of which caved in earlier, Union Minister Nitin Gadkari and Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami reached the scene to review the ongoing rescue and relief operation. CM Dhami said that the state government is ready to provide all the help required to the agencies involved in the rescue operation. Ms. Nicaragua is crowned as Miss Universe 2023 after an intense content between 19 con 90 country candidates. Miss Nicaragua emerged as the 72nd Miss Universe. Advancing to the final round alongside her were Miss Thailand and Miss Australian in the beauty pageant. That's all the news we have for you today on Superfast 10. Thank you for joining us. For more news and updates, stay connected with us on social media. Like, share and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, X, YouTube and Telegram. Tune in tomorrow at the same time. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy and stay informed.